Hello friends, welcome to the 18th part of the topic connections in a steel structure where today we are going to discuss something about tension capacity of the plate. So up till now we had a discussion regarding capacities of the bolt but today we are going to carry out a discussion on tension capacity of the plate. So here I have shown a, a typical plate with chain bolting which means bolt holes are in the same line. See here we can see that bolt holes are in the same line like this and a uh, load is applied in this direction and uh, another figure I have shown is this where the bolt actually are not in the same line but are arranged in a zigzag pattern this is known as staggered bolting while this is known as chain bolting so it is but obvious that when we apply a force in this direction in this uh, line of action this plate may have a failure plane uh, maybe over here because it is having this as a weaker plane or it may be this or it may be this or it may be this but here the number of bolt in the row are reduced here there are three or here there are two so in this way we can uh, uh, arrange the bolt holes in such a manner that uh, we can increase the capacity of the plate or we can say tension capacity of the plate and uh, I'll just remove everything at first I have shown numerous terms here this is known as gauge length that is distance vertical distance between the bolt in the perpendicular distance to the line of action and uh, this distance is known as pitch and uh, the thickness of this plate is abbreviated by this small t so we have learned numerous things from this figure the main thing was the failure plane generation of the failure plane due to the uh, chain bolting and staggered bolting that is how the bolt holes are actually arranged so these things are uh, shown here theoretically a plate in the joint may fail in tension through the weakest section due to the holes as we show the holes may be arranged in the longitudinal direction of the plate so that the number of holes is equal to the number of rows across the width if the holes are staggered the number of holes across the width is reduced see if we are using the staggered bolting the number of holes is reducing on this length head this is as per the clause uh, 6.3.1 page 32 in this is code in case of chain bolting the plate will fail across the weakest section that is aa as shown in figure this is the section aa the tension capacity here is tdn this is the tension capacity of the plate and that is given by this formula tdn is equal to 0 0.9 into an into fu divided by gamma m1 gamma m1 is 1.25 as usual fu is the ultimate stress of the material and an is the net effective area of the plate that is this area of the plate if we cut this plate from this section then the area of this plate is known as net effective area because we are subtracting the area of this bolt holes but we are having a formula to calculate this net effective area that is in case of chain bolting see if we are using a chain bolting then number of holes are more across the cross section then the area is b minus n into diameter of the hole into t here we can even use the do to show the diameter of the hole and uh, in case of staggered bolting that is zigzag pattern bolting we are having the formula a n is equal to b minus n into d h plus summation of p s i square divided by 4 into g i now what is p s and i and g so g is the gauge length of the bolt holes p s is the staggered pitch length between the bolt holes and here the i what i have used is for the subscript of the summation of all the inclined legs that is this summation of this inclined leg into thickness that is thickness of the plate so in this way we can calculate uh, the tensile capacity of the bolt by using this formula and the last thing what we should note here is that in case of staggered holes the more than one potential failure line may exist yes we know that because if it is having a staggered bolting zigzag bolting then there may be numerous uh, failure line but it is still better than that of the chain bolting thing controlling failure line is one which gives the large stress on an effective net area and uh, in many cases the critical failure path is also the path of has the minimum net area 
सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द टेंसाइल कैपेसिटी ऑफ द प्लेट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक कनेक्शन